Oh yeah, let's do this one. So, um, I was going through some stuff on my shit, and I thought to myself, you know what? Should we go through some Brendan Shaw lies? Because I wanted to play this clip because this might be one of my favorite Brendan Shaw lies of all time. Because you know what me, I've, I've still got to do it. I haven't done it yet. I've got this idea of putting together a video, you know, summarizing some of the best Brendan Shaw lies. But one of my favorite lies, one of my favorite Brendan Shaw lies was the Moon Tower Comedy Festival malarkey. Do you remember that? The Moon Tower Comedy Festival debacle was one of my favorite Brendan Shaw lies because it was so unnecessary. He gets pay, he gets booked to play at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. He's the first list. He's the first round of names that's announced. If you know anything about festivals, whether it's a comedy or a music festival, the first they always kind of you know break up the the names on the lineup so they can keep you know the interest going and obviously use it for marketing purposes. So there's a first batch, second batch, third batch, whatever, right? He's one of the first names that gets mentioned. And because he's one of the first names that gets mentioned and he's one of the most noteworthy names on the list, his name is right at the top. But for some reason, he thinks because his name is at the top of the first flyer, that means he's headlining. Now, I'm not too sure if he knew that or if he didn't know that. Either way, he kept running with it, even though he knew he wasn't a headliner. By the time the second flyer comes out, his name goes right down to the bottom again. But he's still on the list anyway, so it's still a good achievement. He's still playing at the Mootown Comedy Festival. It's a big, it's a it's a big opportunity. It's a great look for him, especially considering his level of comedy. Right, the fact that he's able to play something like that should be something that you should be happy about, and you pat yourself on the back. But he couldn't accept that. He had to sprinkle a little bit more of the lie, so he kept going with the for whole. I'm booked on the Mootown Comedy Festival. I'm headlining. I'm headlining. So this particular video from the Fire and the Kids subreddit. Always fills me, always fills me with joy because it reminds me of the good times when Brendan, you just used to lie, used to love fucking lying about headlining stuff that he's not headlining. So I'm gonna play it for you now. Bear with me a second as I get it up on here because it legitimately is one of my favorite videos of all time. I swear to God, it's one of my favorite videos of all time. Brendan lying, he's playing at a comedy festival. The comedy festivals are interesting though because it's like. I mean, I don't even know if you need to do them. I think if you're starting out, or unless you're a huge headliner like Burr or someone, yeah. it doesn't make a ton of sense. Why Cause, not? Cause, because just financially, it doesn't make a ton of sense. Yeah, if you're newer, I you can break even or you're, you're out. Austin and do my own show and make probably double the money than what the, the Moon Tower would pay. Oh, they, they so have a, it's they a money a thing. You don't go for, for the me, it's a money. So, like, when you were in Austin doing uh, Moon Tower, yeah. I was literally... By the way, by the way uh, whatever that guy's name is, Stevie Weeby. No, Brendan doesn't do anything for experience. Everything's for money. Big up Proven 187. Long time no see. Been here since 1K subs. Congrats. Yeah, OG, yeah. Dead. Big up Proven. He's an OG. Proven, long time no see, brother. Hope you're good. Yeah, you know, man. You know the dark days, bro. The dark days when there was only like 10 people here. <laughs> when there was only like 10 people here, bro. Chatting into the wind. We were just chatting. You know what I mean? Chatting into the wind. Big up fucking Proven 187. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're well. An hour away doing a theater in San Antonio. And then just announced, announced on my birthday. It's very rare I celebrate things, but headlining the Moon Tower Comedy Festival Festival in Austin, Texas, April 22nd through the 20th. <laughs> do you think Brian knew? I've got a feeling Brian knew. Why did Brian do that? I think Brian knew he was lying. Why did Brian do that? One more time. Why did Brian do that? Look. I think Brian knew he was lying, but he didn't have the guts to tell him. Look at Brian's face. Oh, they, they so have a, it's they a have money a thing. You don't go for, for the me, experience. It's a so like when you were in Austin doing uh, Moon Tower, yeah. I was literally an hour away doing a theater in San Antonio. And then just announced, announced on my birthday. It's very rare I celebrate things, but headlining the Moon Tower Comedy Festival, Festival in Austin, Texas, April 22nd through the 23rd. <laughs> I think Brian knew. I think Brian knew he was lying, but he didn't have the guts to tell him. Brian knew he was lying. Maybe even Chappelle knew too. Look at Chappelle's face. Headlining. All right. All right. Headlining. All right. All right. I'm at the new Cap Cities out there. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. And then April 22nd through the 23rd, I am headlining the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Your boy is in Austin at the new Cap Cities. Oh, two shows Friday, wrong. two shows Saturday. <laughs> And then the big boy Moon Tower Comedy Festival is April 22nd through 23rd. It's pretty wild he doesn't do this anymore, isn't it? Brendan's the one person who I felt like took a lot of pride 
in announcing his dates at the end of the show. Like it was a real big like ego boost thing. Now he doesn't do it at all. Now he just sits there awkwardly. Yo, big up, um, Daniel. Congrats on reaching your 200th show. Your content has become a weekly staple. Very much appreciated. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, Daniel Alcantara. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for the nice words. Thank you for the support, brother. Bang your fucking chest. Appreciate you. All that malarkey. Blah, 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 blah. Much love. Much love. Much love. Get your tickets right now. I'm in Austin, Texas at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. I'm headlining the festival at Cap Cities. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Every time. Oh, look at the email. Look at the email. Honestly, the fire and the kid guys, the homeless cats are so fucking petty. They are so petty. Look at the email somebody sent. Look at the email somebody sent to the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Hi there. Just a quick query, inquiry, sorry, in regards to the tickets, as there's a few mixed messages around online. I understand that purchasing the satellite badge entitles you to see the satellite shows, whilst the star badge gets you into the headliner shows at the Paramount and Stateside. One of my favourite podcasters slash comedians, Brendan Schaub, announced that he was headlining, whilst on your website it says that he's in fact a, head a satellite performer at Cap City, leading me to be totally confused. Now I'm on a budget, so obviously I don't want to commit to paying for the star badge if I don't need to. <laughs> Would it be possible to clear this situation up? It's quite confusing. <laughs> Honestly, the guys are the best trolls. The best trolls. <laughs> and then they, re and then the, uh, they responded. Brendan Schaub is indeed a satellite performer at this year's Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Um, he's technically a headlining. He's technically a headlining name at Cap City Comedy Club, but I can confirm he is not headlining Moon Tower Comedy Festival, which he himself seems to be confused about. Let us know if you have any other questions. <laughs> Brendan, man, this is the best. I swear to God, I swear my life. This is my favorite Brendan lie because it's so unnecessary. The person says in the email, technically, he is headlining one particular venue, but he's not headlining the festival. So if he wanted to, he could easily say, I'm playing at a Mutile Comedy Festival. I'm also headlining one of the shows. And that would be perfectly fine. But he's so, he's got such a fragile ego. He's so insecure. He can't just be happy saying, I'm performing at Moon Tower and I'm also headlining um, this other show. He has to say, I'm headlining at Moon Tower Festival. Like, why? When the truth is actually pretty cool too. There's nothing wrong with the fucking truth. This guy is the worst. I swear to God. He's the fucking worst, bro. Absolute worst. But big up the Friday Kids subreddit, guys, because they're so petty. But I fucking love it. I love it. Really, dude? <laughs> now, of course, it got changed. Satellite event performer. Uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, breaking news there. Well, I announced it on my Instagram, but breaking news as far as podcast goes. Um, we, we changed. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's stuttering. Look how confident he was before. He was bragging about fucking doing Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Humble brag. Mentioning it all the time. Now look at him. He's fucking stuttering. He's absolutely stuttering. I wonder why. Uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, breaking news there. Well, I announced it on my Instagram, but breaking news as far as podcast. Also, also, I miss Fat Brendan. I miss Alcoholic Brendan. I'm not going to lie. I miss Alcoholic Brendan. I miss Alcoholic Brendan so fucking much. Look how red his face is. Look how chubby and... and bursting at a seamy uh, i miss that when he would be drinking at 9 a.m in the morning just downing whiskey to the face i miss that era man i miss it so much goes um we we changed venues we we're at the cap city comedy club the new cap city i was going to open up their club and they decided to put your boy in the historic paramount theater oh really dude <laughs> another lie what was that Hey, I had a ticket for Brendan Shaw, but was decided to see him. How come the venue changed or will he be playing there still? Unfortunately, we will not be open on time to host the show. We're sorry about that. He will most likely be at Cap City in the future, but probably not until next year. 
<laughs> oh my god, he lies. He lies so much, man. He lies so much. <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. I love this guy. He's my favorite. Another one. Uh, emails going out to people, right? Tickets. Brandon Shaw be silent performer for the Moontown Comedy Festival is indeed not headlining the performer. Oh my god, bro. You can purchase individual tickets to buy satellite badges, whichever you prefer. Please be advised that badge holders are given priority. <laughs> I love how they keep saying, look at that. They keep saying all the time. Brendan Shaw is a satellite performer. Uh, and is not, and indeed not headlining. <laughs> headlining Cap City. Headlining Moontown Comedy Festival. Oh, really, dude? Oh, what a legend. Oh, this is my favorite lie. I swear to God, my favorite lie. You know what? <laughs> oh my God, look at that. Cancel. Look. And then he canceled it. This is the thing I don't like about Brendan. He gets exposed for his lies. He probably couldn't sell enough tickets anyway. And then instead of going, he'd rather not go and perform in front of 10 people. So he just cancels it. Sorry, canceled Austin. I'll be announcing a full weekend ASAP in 2022. He never did. I won't be able to make it this Saturday. That's the thing I hate about him the most. He just doesn't like follow through on his shows. He'd rather just cancel because he doesn't want to, you know. Oh man, honestly, this is my favorite lie. I love this lie so much. I swear to God, it legitimately makes me smile. Moontown Comedy Festival lie was one of the best lies ever. 